If you like listening to the music that you won't normally find in the various YouTube videos of Fallout 4, you may find that the radio announcer for Diamond City Radio leaves something to be desired. Lucky for you, there's a way to change that. Encountering Travis, the announcer for Diamond City Radio inside of Diamond City, will begin a prompt for the quest Confidence Man. Odds are, you will probably be able to unlock this quest without even realizing it by just hanging around Diamond City for long enough, since Travis does wander around a bit from day to day. You'll know you'll have this quest unlocked because various guards in Diamond City will say that the Bobrov brothers would like to have a word with you. So, head down to the local watering hole where you'll walk in on the Bobrov brothers having a conversation that seems to not be going in the favor of one of them. The barman will then ask you how you feel about Diamond City Radio. Doesn't matter what you say about him, he's just gonna ask you if you'd like to kill the guy. Say no. At this point, the other Bobrov brother will chime in that he's only joking and that Travis is a good friend of theirs. The brothers want to set something up to help get Travis some more confidence so he'd be a better radio DJ, but they need some outside help to get it done. Upon agreeing to help them with their plan, you'll be taken into the back room and you'll be explained to that at 6pm you're going to help fake a fight to help Travis get his confidence up. You don't immediately have to do it at the next available 6pm, just any 6pm that you want to come back in. It's best though to keep it fresh in your head by going outside and waiting or spending the next 24 minutes trying to get a piece of cheesecake. After the in-game time is past 6pm, walk back into the bar to find a couple of thugs harassing Travis. Talk to Travis and egg him on and say that you've got his back in a fight, and then just beat the crap out of the dudes. It really doesn't matter how you do it, just... I suggest go for melee, and odds are, if you're wearing power armor, you're going to nearly kill these dudes in one punch. But don't worry, it seems hard-coded that you can't really kill them as long as you're using unarmed. After a bit more encouragement, Travis leaves looking a little happier than he usually is. Talk to the barman again, and they'll explain that there's a girl working at his bar that he'd like Travis to get to know a little better, so to speak. You can find the waitress either walking around the bar serving drinks, or she likes to hang out by the farm for some reason. I, whatever she wants to do, it's... I don't know why she hangs out there, she just does. Now, you can either pass a medium speech check to convince her that Travis is a really nice, interesting guy that likes her back, or you can just bribe her. I find the former is much more satisfying from a moral perspective, but I'm not going to tell you how to do the quest. After convincing Scarlet to go hang out with Travis for a bit, you'll be prompted to go back to the Bobrov brothers. However, you'll notice it's not the Bobrov brother that's been pulling the strings for this thing most of the time. Return to Yefim to find out that Vadim has been taken by the tough guys that he hired to throw the fight, and he needs help getting him back. He implores you to go find Travis to help you with this endeavor, which won't be that hard. You'll find that Travis doesn't need much convincing to help you out. Travis tells you that the tough guys are holed up in Beantown Brewery, and he's going to go find some weaponry before joining you there. Fast Traveler waltz over to the Beantown Brewery, and Travis will be waiting outside the main door. Give Travis a bit of a pep talk, and then just charge in their guns blazing. These raiders aren't smart enough to do any sort of hostage situation type deal, so just gun them down without worrying about Yafim, except when you're getting close. Then, if you're using any sort of AoE or grenade type weapon, you might want to be a bit careful. However, it seems that Yafim doesn't exactly die easily. Upon freeing Yafim, he'll tell you that all these people left a bunch of caps and chems around, and he loads your pockets with goodies, which is pretty much the reward for this quest. Talk to Travis again, and you'll be able to complete the quest, and as a bonus result, you'll find that Diamond City Radio has a lot more of a charismatic host. That's all for this video. If you found this helpful, be sure to like and favorite the video for future reference, and be sure to share it with other people who might have trouble with this quest or simply find Diamond City Radio's host a bit grating. See you next time.